for you getting a dimension in Canada is easy. Let me say that. But getting the visa is, in, is also another wahala. Getting a dimension, getting full scholarship here is not enough. <laughs> you can get $80 billion. But if you don't get visa, it is waste of money, waste of time. So what you need to know is that the school is an institution. Immigration is also an institution. So the school can give you scholarship, full scholarship, but immigration will deny your visa. <laughs> so this is the wisdom you need to know. How do I write a strong study plan? Writing a strong study plan can take you closer to your student application approval because that is the heart of the application. However, some agent, they don't validate the document. They just submit it. You got rejection. No matter the prayers, you can be in Apia Mountains 83 years because sometimes God God wants us to be vigilant. God wants us to apply the wisdom and knowledge. This is certain mistakes. This is what they want. Follow instructions. You did sociology in Ghana. Now you want to come and do cyber security. The school can give you admission, but the visa they are going to deny you because God is my witness. Somebody told me that today he is submitting the visa because of my videos. Because he had been following and Choco, he had been following our videos. Uh, now he is applying. And the kind of thing the guy has done, eh? Me in Quran, I'm shocked. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good afternoon. Thank you for watching me. My name is Peter Baua. Don't give up in life. I use my life as a story to impact, inform, and also empower people so that they can be able to move away from their comfort zone to become relevant and also bring forth significant and bear fruit for the society. Before I start, I'm not an agent. I'm not a visa officer. I am not educational consultant. What I do is that I share my common sense knowledge with my people. You see, in applying for visa, what you need to do is that put yourself in the shoes of the visa officer. So, you know, those people are interested of coming to America or those people are interested of going to America. In America, you go for interview. But in Canada, you don't go for interview. So the moment you get admission, you apply. So your document is the interview. Listen to me very careful. The document you are going to submit is the interview. It is very important for you to understand that. America and Canada in terms of student visa is quite different. In America, you need to book for dates and you go for interview. But in Canada, you don't need to go for interview. They will, they, will, they will call you for an interview when they're significant or maybe you, they have a specific reasons of you, they having that interview with you. But basically, you don't go for interview when coming to Canada. But when going to U.S., you go for interview. Now, since you don't go for interview in Canada, if you fail to provide a logic and a reasonable document, they are going to refuse your, docu your, your visa. Some people are watching me. Your visa has been refused. Some have also gained admission. Some are willing to apply to come to Canada. This is the reason why you need to prepare ahead. This video is going to give you more insight and understanding as to how you can do your thing so that it can help you and prepare. So take your note and write something down. Even if you know, Try to write something. It will help you in the future or your sister or your brother will be applying. Let this video be one of the videos you are going to watch so that it can help you because I'm going to say a lot of things and you are going to study. The fall semester in September, prepare your document. Yesterday, I talked about some of the documents you will need, your transcript, your CV, statement of purpose. Maybe some people call it letter of intent. Some call it motivational. Um, some call it letter of... Um, motivational letter some call it personal statement some call it a statement of purpose it depends on the school you want to apply look for three or four schools make sure you go to the funding make sure the school have internal funding yesterday if you don't watch that video go and watch it as to how you can get scholarship and funding some people are watching me if i didn't get funding how am i going to come to canada all these stuff you need to ask your question you can apply to school you get a admission you don't have money to come is it necessary? Do you have any second option? 
these are some of the things we are going to discuss so today i'm going to talk about the basically one of the key things in the study plan and one of the key things in the study plan is that one of the reasons why they can reject your visa in canada is that they will tell you that the reason why you are coming to canada is not in, is inconsistent when you say it is inconsistent it simply means that the course you are coming to do in canada does not collaborate with your future career goals or maybe your background studies so for example you are watching me you did computer science now you are interested in building technology so building technology and computer science there is no collaboration because or for example if the person did political science you want to come and do civil engineer the school and one thing i want to clarify here is that in every country the basic institution when i say the basic institution or the institution of the state i'm talking about the eight basic institutions the first one is economic institution the second one is educational institution religious institution we have the family we have the uh the family we have um i've mentioned education economics religious i've talked about political institutions family all these stuff are one of the and even marriage is an institution right so every state they have institution so the school is an institution so when i say the school is an institution i simply mean that there are some structures and uh, rules and regulations that guide the action and inaction of the school so for example you are in nigeria you're in ghana you are watching me right now you did business administration you did uh, maybe accounting you did marketing you did political science sociology social work please share the video so that other people can join this is a, a vital information i'm pouring out you need to learn it will help you if you intend to apply for your visa come and study something it will help you i have pdfs here books articles before i will come live i need to study <laughs> Before I will come and talk, I need to make myself full so that I can pour. Because you can't pour from empty cup. I need to fill myself with knowledge before I can pour. So I've studied a lot, asked questions, did my research, and then come. Because I've, I was the one who applied for my own visa. So I know what the things I did that really helped me to secure the, that thing. So it can also help you out. So now, you need to put yourself in the shoes of the visa officer. The reason why you are coming here so the school is an institution so basically maybe you're in ghana you did education but now you want to go to maybe nursing or maybe you want to go to uh, maybe um law or maybe other course right since the course you did and the course you're coming to do in canada for the school immediately you email them that you want to change the course or you, they can give you the admission for you getting admission in Canada is easy. Let me say that. But getting the visa is, in, is also another wahala. Getting admission, getting full scholarship here is not enough. <laughs> you can get $80 billion. But if you don't get visa, it is waste of money, waste of time. So one thing you need to know is that the school is an institution. Immigration is also an institution. So the school can give you scholarship, full scholarship, but immigration will deny your visa. <laughs> so this is the wisdom you need to know it's not getting the admission because even if you want to come here and you want to come and do your masters you come and do your phd or your undergrad or your college postgraduate diploma and those kind of stuff you can get the admission and get the funding getting visa will be a problem because the visa is also going to another institution for example so you did sociology you are coming here to do cyber security maybe probably the school can give you admission to come and do but will you be giving the visa that's the most important thing. So what you need to do is that in Canada, I don't know, people have been following Choco Melonia. You know, Choco Melonia have been able to help other people to change their course. Sometimes changing your course will be very difficult. But when you come here and maybe probably you meet the criteria or the requirement of the course you want, you can push through. The moment is that you need to get a visa. That is the dream. That is, the, that is what you need. So now what am I saying? The visas officer are looking for applicant who had the knowledge, who can think deep, who can reason, who are smart enough to write something that is reasonable. That because you, you are coming from Africa to this place, probably maybe you are not working, you don't have money, you don't have anything, you are coming to study. They want to know your personality. They want to know your ideas. 
the, 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 the knowledge and your basis or experience, the things you can bring to impact, the things you can do to help your community to develop. These are some of the things the visa officers are looking for. This person that is coming to Canada to study, what is the relevance? Would this study help my country to develop? You are in Ghana, you are in Nigeria. You want to come to Canada. The visa officer will ask that. This person coming to Canada to study, would the study benefit the country? Will it benefit the person himself? Will it benefit the family? Will it benefit the country he is coming from? So you are coming from Ghana to Canada. Would the study benefit Ghana? Will your study benefit Canada? These are some of the critical questions the visa officers are going to what? Ask themselves. Because they are also reasonable. They are intelligent enough. That is why they are reviewing your document. They know what they know. So what you need to do is that you need to be strategic and you need to plan well. That is what we call it what? The study plan. So it is a planning. And the person who lacks planning will always die. Because if you don't plan, you put your, your life into a, 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 a hole. So what I'm saying is that in the study plan, we call something that there should be a portion that how the program will shape and advance my future career goals and employment opportunity. If you are writing your letter of explanation and you fail to bring this, you have visa probability for them to reject it is 99 percent because that is the heart of the visa canadian visa they are talking about i know proof of funds is there i know um i know proof of funds home ties but the heart of the visa let me tell you the heart of the visa is what i'm telling you visa nakuman the heart that how would the study benefit you your country your community even the country or the world these are the the key thing they are going to look maybe probably you're watching me you can pay your school fees your dad has money you can have your uncle to sponsor you your uncle is willing to sponsor you your brother is willing to sponsor you your father is willing to sponsor you so you proof of funds is not your problem because even you could know you have money you have land you have house your home ties maybe you have married you have children, you have employment, you have social organization that you have joined, you have businesses, you have land, you have house, you have castles, you have properties that you can use to as what your home ties. But the main focus should be that what is the program you are coming to do to help you to advance or benefit your future career goals and employment opportunities. That is the main focus because you coming to study in Canada, there should be a purpose. And that purpose is that the program I am coming to do will help me, enable me to do certain things. And this is what the visa officer wants to know. Because everybody wants to come and study. After said this, what next? That is the most important thing. Today we are going to discuss it. So now, the study plan. When we say the study plan, what do we mean by this study plan? People have been saying study plan, study plan. Peter. I want to apply for visa. I want to gain admission. I want to come to Canada. What is study plan? Yeah, they are saying study plan, study plan. What is it? So, a study plan is a descriptive statement of what a prospective student, student interest in a particular study program. You must submit a study plan as part of your study permit or student visa application. A study plan is a significant component of your immigration application because it gives you the chance to explain your interest in the specific study of program and allow you to connect, listen to the word. So now we are, I'm talking about two things. One is that it gives you the chance. So the study plan will give you the chance. So you write the chance and also connect. So one, connect. So after the study plan has given you the chance, it will connect you. So it will connect you to what? To, to your personal background. So one is what? Personal background. So when you're writing the, the statement of purpose, these are certain things you need to touch. My personal background. Two, academic experience. After talking about your personal, you talk about academics. And three, your professional goals. So now the course should touch 
or the course you are coming to do should touch on three key pillars. The first pillar is that the personal background. The second one is that academic experiences. The third one is that your future professional goals. So the, st the, the study plan or the reason why you want to study, uh, you want to get to know much about the program or the benefit you are going to benefit from. The program you're going to benefit, how your, your country is going to benefit, how you coming to Canada will benefit you. You are going to factor it into three key pillars. The first one is your personal background. The second one is academic experience. And the third one is future career goals or future professional goals. Very important. How do I write a strong study plan? Writing a strong study plan can take you closer to your student application approval because that is the heart of the application. However, it is helpful to differentiate a strong one from a weak one. So now, people have been applying the visa. They have gotten scholarship. They have, they have, they have paid their school fees. You want to come and study in Canada. You are eager to come. You want to come and do your master's, your degree, your diploma here. I know you want to come. But if you fail to get the good information, you are going to lose a lot. And the study plan or the reason why the program will help you to achieve your personal, academic, and professional goals is the heart of the application. So this document, some people submit their application without putting all this stuff, the letter of explanation, the study plan, how they are going to plan their study, and how the study will help them to advance their career goals. Very important one that I'm going to talk about here. So now, your main goal is when writing or when, when you are writing the, the document, why you are good fit for your chosen program. Why is it that the program you are, going, you are coming to do is a fit for you or it is good for you? Education institution or the city or Canadian term or something like that, right? Study will take place. Hence, your study plan should be concisely. It should be concise. Don't go and write eight pages of study plan. Nobody have time to write. Me, when I was doing my, I wrote only one page. One page of study plan. But let me tell you, that one page, uh, one page of study plan, the things I wrote here, eh, <laughs> the introduction, even if, even if you don't know me, you love me. Because me I, and one of my friends, Spencer, wherever you are, God bless you. And one of my doctor, Dr. Paolo, Ken Westy, Dr. Brina, Dr. Uh, my, my my boss, Dr. De Graft. These people really help me. Me, I don't forget people who help me. Anytime I mention anything, I know people who help me. I'm not saying that the study plan when I when I get it, they, 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 that was it. I I made people to provide it for me. Doctors. Yeah. Only one page. I know that I've been I mean, people have been sending me Peter review. Uh, when I open some of the application, it is three pages, four pages, five pages. Me, mine is only one page. <laughs> one page study plan. <laughs> one page letter of explanation. Everything is in the, on it. But I was able to what? Touch the important part. So immediately you read my study plan. You know that this guy know what he want. <laughs> you get it? No doubt. It's not a thing Past tense, past participle, good English, simple, simple English, coherent, so clear, so significant, so structured, so neat work, presentation, quality work, like everything. <laughs> I made it very nice. So even if I don't have proof of answer, the letter I've written, you know that this guy know what he wants. Somebody sent me a letter of explanation and the way. And I told, I told, I asked the person, your, your dad and your mom have paid school fees like over $10,000 for you to come here to study. And you have written this study plan. Hey! But some people take opportunity just like that too. Hey! Now, I mean, if it is not scholarship, how can I come here? Who is going to pay that $10,000 for me? Some people have gotten that opportunity and they don't want to use it. Some people, your father have a lot of money. Your dad has houses, cars, businesses. Hey, a bit three years old. You're not this house. Oh my God. What's up? 
you get opportunity for your dad to pay. Your uncle is paying your school fees. You have an uncle who can pay everything. Just writing letter, making it concise, is a problem. <laughs> Some people have not gotten the opportunity. Other people have gotten. If you have gotten that opportunity, by this time, we are working with Joe Biden. <laughs> oh, God. All the same. It is what it is. So, basically, that is it. So, one, the study plan should be concisely and convincingly. So, it should be concise and convinced. You can't just write. You need to be con convincingly. C-O-N-V-I-N-C-I-N-G-L-Y. Convincingly. To the following questions. Why me? So this program I'm coming to do, why this program? The letter of explanation, I can tell you the re all the subsects that will come to there. But today, my major theme is that I want to describe how you can able the program you're coming to do to help you to advance your career goals. And that, that, that's the heart of the application. I don't want to go to all these stuff. Those people who want to guide it, I, I will try to do. When writing your study plans, remember the following. One, be concise. Don't come and express yourself as if you know English. These Canadians, they know English more than you. You are in Africa. It's not about using big, big words. I wish to state uh, uh, categorically that the immense contribution, I am highly acclimatized, I'm, I'm highly agor. All this, all this English is not important. Make it concise. Make it understandable. Even if the visa officer can just read and know that this person is you, he understands communication skills. There are certain English that you'll be putting that we need to go and find dictionary. Nobody have time because you are not the only one who wants to come to Canada. Treat people have applied. People <laughs> you don't know the kind of application and the rejection people have have been gotten. So if you know you have gotten admission, if you know you have gotten funding to come and study, please take your time. Make your English small, small. Nah, nah. The way I, I want to make it to be so so, uh, so coolant, go so ma, alpha, uh, gregarious, all these term terms. Please, nobody have time to go to a dictionary because maybe the visa officer, thousand application is there. He need to finish it one week. So immediately, so make it Nantribini. Sorry to say, do you know Nantribini? Cow shit. So the top should be hard, but the down should be soft. Make it like gobe. Because sometimes they will read only the, the top there. You know that this person knows wisdom. Maybe the down there, you don't know anything you have written. Because your top is not good, they will reject it. Because there is no wisdom or knowledge in the introduction. So the visa officer will not worry himself to read it. Because you now you didn't say anything important in the introduction. You don't know. So, basically, that is it. Can I explain... How can I explain my course fit? How can I explain my course fit? So, you are coming to do business administration. You are coming to do psychology. You are coming to do education. What is my educational goals? After the education, what next? So, you can divide it into two. You can divide it into short goals and long-term goals. Short-term goals and long-term goals. Do you understand? So now, let the office officer know that these are your short-term goals. After school, what next? Now, before you can go that, trace back to the course you're coming to do. Trace back to the course you're coming to do. So maybe you're coming to do um, economics here. Go to the program, go to the school department, go and list Go and look at the the, 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 the the various courses you are coming to do. So one, maybe you are coming to Canada. One of the course, and maybe you are coming to do economics. One of the course you are coming to do in Canada here, the program you are coming to do, maybe you are coming in September. So maybe you go to the program there. And now, what you do, college student need study plan. Every, irrespective of what you are coming to do, you need study plan. Whether college, whether you need study plan. So now, let me tell you this. So, go to the, the school program. Let the office officer know that you know what you are, you are saying. 
be convincingly apply wisdom so what i will do is that i will go to the program website go and take three courses maybe the co three courses so i'm coming to do economics i can go there and see that maybe one of the courses that we, are, we will do research methods so i'll write down research methods two the second one is maybe uh eco, eco, econo, uh, econometrics so you write econometrics three you can also we are going to also do econ, uh, sociology economy then you write it down so now before you write how the program is going to shape your personal academic and future career goals these are your short terms so now you will let the visa officer know that these are the, some of the courses you are coming to do in the school and the research and these courses will help you to broaden your scope it will help you to be able to analyze you know certain data economic data it can also help you to deepen your skills and experience right it can also help you to hone in different perspective and dynamics you know paradigms and you know ideas that you can able to what understand or formulate maybe po public policy or affect public policy in your country so now you, the visa officer will know that yes this person know because after all he has able to mention some of the course he's coming to do yes that means this guy that is why it is very dangerous when uh, agent writes uh, your study plan because the agent he doesn't have time to go to the school website to learn all these stuff i hope you get it so this thing i'm telling you i'm telling you the truth take it it will help you i'm telling you <laughs> so maybe you let the visa officer know that these are some of the courses you are coming to do so these courses you are coming to do will also help your future career goals personal and academics so the research skills can build your personal own research skills it can also help you to deepen your knowledge broaden your scope you know helping you to expand your horizons and also understanding the perspective of what maybe economics or certain research methods question because you believe that this world is moving to what you need to be creative you need to be analytical so these are some of the terms you need to bring in the study plan some some of the terms are analytical some of the terms are research skills or research based skills you can also talk about interpersonal community uh, inter interpersonal relationship you can also talk about communication skills you can also talk about what creativity you can talk about innovation all these are, are certain te technologies it should be inside the study plan because you want to study to be creative you want to study to be innovative you need to study to be a problem solver a problem solver or a problem solving skills you need to talk about your leadership skills bring it don't say that leadership is only a good father. You are our leaders, our leaders. You too, you are a leader. <laughs> I don't understand. Some people just write, they think that leadership skills, they don't have leadership skills. Everybody is born a leader. It's just that people go far more than other people. So let the visa officer know that this and this and this and that, you have leadership. It will build your leadership skills. It will help you to be analytical, innovative, creative, you know, Mention all these technologies, research skills based. I hope you get it. So that one is also very important. Now, what is your short your short term goals? Now maybe you are working. When you are in Africa or when you are in Ghana, you used to be a, a, a um, an administrator or you used to be a nurse. You used to be a teacher. So after school, what is the short term goals? The short term goals is that this course you are coming to do here will help you to what enable you to experience more ways of teaching bringing teaching what apparatus or accoutrement you know ideas and knowledge on board that after school you want to send it back home right to also affect change because you believe that these courses you are coming to do here will help you to broaden your scope you gain a lot of knowledge in depth deeper understanding about you know diversity what courses and topics and after that these will help you to build yourself and that you want to send this knowledge back home so that you can also affect the children over there so this is your short-term goal after school this program will help you to be this this and that and it will help you to affect these children maybe you are working in a bank you're in ghana you are watching me right now you are working 
you're in Ghana, you're in Nigeria, you're in Africa, you are working right now, whether you're in corporate environment or government institution, whether you are working with government institution, ministries, or those kind of stuff, what would the course help you after school? So the course you're coming to do will help you to what? You know, take certain basic decisions. It will help you to also what? Do, you know, it will also build your financial capacity. So maybe if you're in the financial aspect, you talk about financial capacity, strategic relationship, human resource de development. You are talking about, you know, project management, cognitive analyzing, the cost and benefit analysis. You know, write all this stuff so that, you know, the, the person will know that ah, this person really know what he's talking about. So maybe you are accountant. Maybe you are, you are working as what? A risk manager or something like that. What are some of the things you can talk about? Your professional goals. These studies will help your professional goals upon completing. It will provide you what? A valuable insight in the market trend. Talk about co consumer preferences. Talk about operational efficiency. All these stuff are technical terms. I'm talking about businesses and we are working. We are human bar. So what is the program benefiting you to do more? You are talking about it will help the company, the company you are working to also do certain things of what? Evidence-based decisions, identify growth opportunities, and also efficiently, you know, navigate the dynamics of business, what, landscape. All these types are certain things that will help the visa officer know, oh, okay, so after studies, this person have the, the, the career goals and the, the ambitions and the personal goals. After you have talked about how it will help you as an individual, you talk about how the, the program will also help some of, maybe in case of your employment opportunities, it will help you to be also valuable after school. The course you are coming to do, it will help you to be valuable in the market, in, in the world market or in your country market. Maybe you are from Ghana. So after you go back, you, because you are able to upgrade yourself, upgrade your mindset, upgrade your knowledge, it will help you to be vulnerable. Sometimes too, you can even talk about the importance is that you are coming to do this course because there is a position that will be that will be in in the next two years that will need a person who has maybe masters or PhD position to occupy that position. That is why you are taking the challenge to come and study. So. This certificate or this education will help you to what? Meet certain criteria in the business. This this education you are coming to do will help you to what? Meet certain position that is coming or that some people are going to retire and they need people to occupy the position that you believe that after school, after your studies, one of your short term goals is that you are going to occupy sensitive position in the company you are working, whether teaching, you are going to do headmaster, you know, be creative enough, convincingly, let him know your perspective and ideas. Very important. People don't really take care of all these stuff. And that is the reason why they can't get good education. You can also talk about strategic decision making. You talk about what, you know, security data privacy and security knowledge sharing and organizational development talk about certain things terms that will help you it will also foster your what data driven decision making data every day every company is based on data talk about certain things that is sensitive to the department or your department or maybe the company let the office officer know that this is your short career goals now what is the long-term goals the long-term goals should be linked to maybe probably your one it will be linked to the community or the country you are coming from so your plan of establishing your own business this is the long term so one long term is that after school in the next maybe 2025 you are planning of establishing your own business or consultant you know say something you are also planning to what organize the youth in the rural areas organize seminars for them talking about career perspective career guidance professional vision mentorship so that they can able to what have a clear path and understanding about life and perspective this is why you want to also study so the program will help you to also what navigate through as to how you can also touch lives in your community so because the first officer will know that so after school your study is also benefiting only you it is not benefiting anybody but you know that knowledge should be shared and knowledge should also affect community and society. 
So let the face officer know that you know what you are writing. After your personal and professional goals and employment opportunity, you also have the passion to affect your community, your society, your villages, your country, Ghana. That you are going to the grassroots to educate, empower, liberate people from what? So that people can also be empowered to do certain things. Because the knowledge you have secured in Canada will help you to what? Touch lives in your community. I don't think that no visa officer, when you write this, would not say that you are not intelligent. You now you are watching me, you know that what I'm saying is true. You now you know that this thing is going inside. <laughs> you feel I'm eh? I hope I'm making sense. This is not degree. This is just common sense. I know I, I know that you are <laughs> what did they make an answer? You have talked about your personal goals, your, your academic goals and those kind of stuff. Maybe you're a teacher. You want to come and upgrade yourself to come to, and come back after school. What next? It will help you to go learn more about research. You get your research skills. It will help you a lot in terms of research, in terms of the way you teach the curriculum. What are some of the other things you can do to also help your student? I hope you get it. It will help you to also occupy some of the research positions. I hope you get it. So, it, it, and your future car career goals or long-term goals, I say, I am planning to establish community-based habilitation center. You see? So, habilitation center, you are, you are planning of establishing organization. You can name it. Let the office officer know the name. Maybe I'm planning of establishing the business of GGBD. And I say Susubribi company or Susubribi mentorship program. And this program is there to empower young Ghanaian ladies that are living in the community that have no hope that you can able to empower them, support them. Because you know that knowledge is the foundation of the growth of every society. And then a society that lacks the wisdom and knowledge will perish. Any society that lacks knowledge and what wisdom will perish. When you are coming to study here, you are going to get the knowledge, you are going to get the wisdom. So, it will help you to also affect change. Let the visa officer know that it is not only you, but for people. The education you are coming to seek in Canada is not for only you. It's not for only your family, but it's for people out there. You want to touch the lives of people in your community, in your village, in, your, in the country. Through seminars, empowerment, opportunity, sponsorship, Mentorship, NGO, social organization, education, sensitization, you know, liberation. These are some of the things you can use to affect. Affect it. Basically. Basically. I hope you guys are learning. So clear articulation of your goals and interests. You need to articulate your goals. Learn from what your educational goal. How is the program connected to, to your program, your purpose in life or something like that? You talk about it. Support your goal by providing detailed summary of what led you to this aspiration. Why is it that you are coming to study this program? And what is the program going to help you? There should be something that should... And one thing is that when you are writing, try to identify a certain problem. I call it the research puzzle. Listen. Before you want to study the career goals and everything I've said, you need to sometimes identify a problem. So maybe you are coming to do cyber security. You know, in Africa, people don't really have study cyber security. It is now that cyber security is coming. Maybe that cyber security is not done in Ghana or in Africa or in the country or in your region or where you want. You can use that as a medium to let the visa officer know that they are setting the course you are coming to do, Grand, they don't do in Africa. <laughs> so you are coming to do it. So after school, you are coming back to transform their lives, to empower, work with government organization. So one of the things also that long-term goal one is that you want to partner after school or in the next 23 years, you want to partner with NGOs, non-government organization and government institution to transform the society by what? Empowering women, empowering young Ghanaians, teaching them the benefit of even if you're in education, sex education, mental education, diversity inclusion equity these are certain things that should be now you should also try to also what bring out summarize and also evident past experience what past experience do you have that has also able to 
to help you. Interest and fit with the program. Explain to why you are interested in a specific program. DNT now person all year. Identify the reason why you want to do that particular problem in a in a simple way. Make it concise. Make it concise. Make it a strong writing. Find compelling ways to what tell your story. Try your best to be engaging with your writing. Keep grammar, tone, and flow in mind when you are writing to make sure that the visa officer not only find it easy to read your study plan, but also entertaining and interesting. Let me repeat this again. Find compiling ways to tell your story. Try your best to be engaging with your writing. Keep grammar tone and flow in mind when you are writing to make sure that the visa officer is not only finding it easy to study or to read your study plan but also entertaining and interesting so when the visa officer is reading he will be laughing at ah, this guy know how to read this guy is very brilliant this guy know his he know the purpose of his life he know the career goals he know his professional ambition wow remember first draft is just that make a time to revise your writing and make it stronger when you feel confident get someone with strong skills to read it to make the editing and suggestion sometimes when you write pay some people to proofread your document for you prepare when people mention money then you run away <laughs> you think it is free <laughs> ah god Pay people to proofread it. It is good for you to pay some people to read it and get quality application and get your visa than to do it. I'm not saying you can't do it. If you know you believe in yourself, do it. But other getting second eye is very important in life, even in research. That is why we have first supervisor and second supervisor. So the first supervisor, the second one will have second eye. If we are saying, you know. Why are they not my mini permission room? Maybe the mistake you did, you might not know. That person will find out and tell you that challenge change this, change that. That will help you. Some people will never pay, they will just submit it and they will get bounced. Waste of time, waste of money. Why didn't you invest and get your visa? It's important. This is just logic. Paying somebody to read, paying some money to somebody to read it and you get your visa is more important than you submitting and denying so that you can resubmit it, resubmit it. Waste of time, waste of energy. This is what I think it can help you. Mm, okay, some people will still go for. Provide research references. This is very important. Don't copy. You. There are a lot of study plan on the internet. Don't think that anything that you use here the visa officer will know the website you copied don't try to be smart don't go to internet and copy gtp4 and shortcut shortcut app application copy and paste those kind of the pre don't do that some people have been gotten rejection because of this you are coming to canada to study you are started copying copy copy man's mindset please here plagiarism is academic insult Academic adultery. A disyamabiamambo We call it academic adultery or academic stealing. Academic thief. You are strong attire, strong medra in academics. If they can send you to police, they can send you to that. Some people, some people have copied study plan. And they, they just got rejection and they say that, oh, when we apply to Canada, you don't get a, a visa. You don't know what you're telling. You don't know what you're saying. Because you copied for internet. You think that they don't know. This is visa. Anything that you write, it is on the system. Me, the application I used to apply for mine, if I give it to you and you submit the same thing, it will be in the system. They will catch you. Don't try to be smart. Even those people who fill the document of in me, uh, Canada, you know how the sensitive the documents are. You need to validate it. Some people don't validate it. They just submit it. That's why I'm telling you that don't use visa uh, uh, agent. Some agent, they don't validate the document. They just submit it. You got rejection. No matter the prayers, you can be in a mountains 83 years. 
because sometimes God God want us to be vigilant. God want us to apply the wisdom and knowledge. This is certain mistakes. This is what they want. Follow instructions. People will never do that. Okay. So provide research preferences. So maybe sometimes you can reference that according to this. Bring the person who said it. Inter citation. Bring it. Don't just copy. It is not from your mind. And you would yeah. And uh, education is the key to success. You just write it. Who said that? Don't write anything that you think that you know. <laughs> Reference the person. According to Baby Kofi Annan, 2023, he stated that education is the backbone of development of Ghana. Therefore, you also seek to what? Deepen your skills, broaden your scope, and also hone in the, the, you know, or deeper understanding of what? The puzzles of society, the problems, so that you can able to what? Suggest and project some of the sol solutions to mitigate these problems in the society. Don't copy. Make sure you reference people. Okay. What happens if I don't address my program fit? So one, if you if you fail to write all these stuff, if you fail, one disadvantage is that failing to address your program fit can lead to complication of your study permit approval a lack of information or coherent in your application must raise authenticity it's concern promising the visa officer to refuse your visa you're going to get denied the worst case scenario your application must declare to the visa officer revealing why you are seeking to pursue the intended program in Canada and the study plan you will give you the opportunity to provide convincing or explanation. Very important. Here are some of the things that could get your study application denier. One, study plan is not well articulated. Your future career goals. The proposed program seem irrelevant. What? The, one of the reasons why they reject people visa is this. The proposed program seems irrelevant. The visa officer will know that, oh no, you did sociology in Ghana, now you want to come and do cyber security. The school can give you admission, but the visa, they are going to deny you because your, your background of education should link to what? I don't know that if you grow pepper, you are not going to cultivate yam. I am not saying that you can't change your course. But it should be in the same field, related courses. For example, you do sociology. You can do cyber security, uh, 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 criminology. You can do what? Public administration, international relations. You know, in a sphere, you did political science. You can do public policy. You can do public administration. You can do uh, criminology. You can do African studies. You can do some of So the first officer will know, oh, okay, it is in the same field. You did sociology. Now you're coming to do project management or you're coming to do business analysis. What is this linkage? So they will tell you that they are going to deny you visa. Make sure this one is not this one is not prayer. This this is just something that is the intended program is irrelevant. Admission the obenya. But visa the obeka you say course now be no and you know now fee. It's not the same course you did it back home. So why are you coming to do here? If you're not able to convince the visa officer, well, they're going to reject your visa. And it is true. So study plan or the reason why the program will help you. We have structures. We have some of the teams you need to bring. But this is one of the teams that will help you to get your visa because some people, the visa officer, because four reasons why they are going to reject your visa is one, proof of funds. Two, home ties. Three, the purpose you are coming to study here does not work, or the visit, or the reason why you are coming to you are coming here is not inconsistent. Sometimes your program, they will reject you. There were no enough document to support the applicant claim or something like that. So you need to be clear, concise. Make sure that you know what you are doing. Make it concise. Make it so knowledgeable. Make it so nice. Make your study plan so nice. Go straight to the point. When you are writing study plan, it shouldn't be like going for address and those kind of stuff. Write, just write. Letter of explanation. Some people have study plan and letter of explanation. Some people include study plan in the letter of explanation. What I would prefer is that include your study plan in the letter of explanation. Right? Some people will just write one page of study plan. 
letter of explanation. Me, I, I didn't do that. The most important thing is that it touches all the things. So write on top, letter of explanation. Bring the study plan inside the letter of explanation. And you talk about financial proof, proof of funds, home ties, why Canada, why that course, why did you know, why is it that you are coming to do the course here, not in Ghana. You are coming to do political science. In Kenya, they do political science. In Nigeria, they do masters in political science, PhD in political science. Why is it that you don't want Africa, you want to come and study Canada? You need to be reasonable enough to bring evidence and what? Results. That the visa officer will know that, oh, okay, this is the reason why this person wants to come here. Especially if your course you're doing is in same in your country. Make sure you need to be writing it convincingly. Some people also use their phone to type. Don't use your phone to type. <laughs> use laptop. Double space it. Make it nice. F phone size 2. Uh, 2.0. Some people... They will never do that. They will just copy and paste. So some will be 13, other will be 11. The font size. <laughs> Inconsistent. Bullet in the move. Bracket close, bracket open, hyphen. <laughs> what do you want? Sometimes you might not have money, you might not have the capacity. But because you have done good application, need to work, the visa officer can give you the visa. Because you know that this guy is very intelligent and when he comes, he can pay attention to details. Favor works, but it works for people that have really prepared. I hope you get it. So, one thing is that broaden your school. September is coming. This is the time for you to find the school. Try to send emails to the department head, program coordinator. You're interested in doing masters. This is the time. Oh, don't stop. This is the time. Go to the school department. Today, let me show. Some of the schools... In Canada, that you can try to apply, that have cheap uh, this thing, and that have you know, they have scholarships and those kind of stuff. I think I have. So look at Memorial University of Newfoundland. This school is in the U.S. They have one of the cheapest, uh, the one of the cheapest universities in in Canada, right? So look for these schools. Those people I know have gotten like this angus are not this year people will really travel you what i'm saying you in september you will see majority of people will be traveling some people have really gotten visas because people are studying some people will say oh peter god bless you and choco god bless you and choco because the knowledge you are giving here maybe your agent the agent who is going to do it for you he don't even know what he's saying do you know that some of the agent it is not them that do the application they they, they just come as a brand <laughs> They come like they know it. They will say something that hey, visa Canada visa is very dangerous. He's lying. You can do the visa today. Today now you can apply. What is your name? You can't type. What is your date of birth? That one too. You don't know. Where do you come from? Are you single? What is your uh, uh, your email? What is the name of your father? Your mother. Where school did you go? What is your last qualification? Do you work? Are you applying through agent? Are you coming to Canada to stay below six months or above six months? These are some of the questions they will ask you. You follow the trend, uh, then you submit. Then they will lead you to the where you upload the document. What are some of the documents you are going to upload? Your passport. Passport face. Passport in the name. No. Passport face. You scan it. There's a portion there. Upload the document. You There is a, a portion over the letter of acceptance. If you have scholarship, you need to upload the letter of uh, uh, acceptance and the scholarship attached to that portion. You type it. And also the scholarship is also go to what? The proof of funds. So what is letter of acceptance? So you have the letter of acceptance. You upload it. Go and take digital picture. We have Canada way of taking pictures. Go there and say you are taking Canadian student visa application passport. They will take your passport. Upload it. We have a document called IMM 1294. It's talking about the study and everything. What is the DLI number of your school? It is in the admission letter. Type it there. Which school are you coming? University of Toronto. Uh, University of New Brunswick. Type it there. Where is it found? Is it found in Ontario? Is it found in uh, uh, Saskatchewan? Where is it found? Write it. 
who is sponsoring your education? My uncle, myself. Write it. What is your school fees? 80,000. Write it. This, why is it that somebody should do the application for? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why should you spend 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 for people to chop? Somebody can use that three hours to do it. Why? Be what the person even don't know anything. The visa of the agent that you are contacting, he, that, he can't even write. So they will come like a brand. And when they come, now they know, you know that, oh, <laughs> when you go to the office, they will give you seven book of shit like this. Hey, no, hey, hey, hey. Then you'll be, you'll be shivering. Hey, 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 hey. Wait. Just supporting. Why? Hey. Me, I don't want to use it as my job. That is why I'm not saying that I'm not agent. So don't dear me that Peter apply visa for me. I don't apply visa. No, I don't do that. I don't have time. You can do it. You know what to read. Even if you don't know, that is when you ask. Peter, maybe you have reached here. What is the thing we need to use? Choco have video. I have videos. Go and watch. Search. Research will help you to open your mind. 20,000 can use to buy land. Whilst you're in Ghana. That in the next 10 years, the value can increase to 1 billion. Be smart. Don't waste your money. If you believe that, why is it that agent, 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 they have branded themselves as if they know what to do. Meanwhile, you're a student. A graduate student of university. Struggling so hard. Try, try, believe in yourself. You can read and understand. It's not difficult. Creating account, you can create it. You go to the IRCC website, study plan, create, the, the, the thing will come, create account. First time, you, you press on it, bah. what is your name? You type it, Peter, Bewa. what is your password? Bring your password. 30 November 1978, star, write it down. Then it will ask you some of the questions. We call it the, the key security questions. What is your favorite food? So you don't know your favorite food. <laughs> hey, what is do you will select? What is your what is your what is your school? Or what is your father's name? Then you write that is your security. You write it down when you are doing application. Buy a book. Write everything you will do because it is security something. Then start. What is your name? It will come. The moment you are going, you're becoming perfect. You're becoming perfect. You're becoming perfect. You are learning. You are asking. Watching videos. You can do it. You can make it nice. You dear me that Peter apply for me. Me. <laughs> hey. You have money. You bring it. <laughs> bring it because we need money. Oh. Some people don't want to pay. You pay somebody 2000 or something to review your document, or maybe paying some of the money, then to go and pay 20,000, that one, you, you can't get access to your portal. Some of the agents, when they are doing the visa for you, you won't even get your, your security. You don't, you don't know. They will have the email. <laughs> ah, God. Mm. Unless I register my, my business with the foundation or here, Maybe I think that some still some people need some people want to apply want you to apply that they will pay we will do that for you guys <laughs> because I don't understand why you make it so difficult that you can do it I don't understand me now I don't understand so please it is time for you to sit down and study plan your life plan everything it is possible today you know that I've encouraged you sit down do your proper application go there try your luck try it try and fail it will help you than somebody to chop your money know how to do it the the number of people that have contacted me the peter through you i am today today god is my witness somebody told me that today he's submitting a visa because of my videos because he had been following and choco he had been following our videos uh, now he is applying and the kind of things the guy has done eh me in Quran, i'm shocked the guy was even teaching me certain things me nana i don't know do you know how to detect that the bank is fake 
do you know maybe you are going to buy bank statement somebody have given you bank statement how would you know it is fake we have a way to detect <laughs> you now you don't know you see today the guy was teaching me but i was like, ah hey he was one he's my follower today he submitted it i'm not agent i'm not agent i'm not immigration consultant i just share my knowledge and my wisdom to you share this video one thing i want to tell you is that it is possible uh, you know some of the schools too they have flexible ways of paying school fees sometimes they will tell you to pay thousand dollars sometimes some schools will tell you to pay five hundred dollars look for these schools some will tell you to pay you know less so you can make f only first semester payment look for these schools probably you don't have anything right so you can write these schools and just search on it some schools too make sure it is dli designated learning institution and not only dli but if you also have postgraduate work permit some of the dli school does not have postgraduate work permit be smart to <laughs> ask questions if you don't know you have heard that people are saying that dli dli you i know it is dli but someone are dli with no postgraduate work permit search it and you will know you apply to the school and when the school when you come you you can't get your permanent resident so one is that you can check university of manitoba you can check university of british columbia you can check university of new brunswick you can talk about uh, check university of Lethbridge. these schools they have scholarships right simon fraser university concordia university you can also talk about memorial university of newfoundland St. Mary's University, this school, it has funding. Mount St. Vincent University, University of Saskatchewan, Daosia University, all these universities are very tough, tough, good universities that have a lot of funding and it can really help you to get funding. It is possible. Let's all come together and make sure the study plan start with the heading for each paragraph. Yes so you can talk about maybe why canada is a paragraph or a subheading why this course why is it i'm not doing this course in my home country but in canada why do i want to study in canada all these stuff it comes with subheading education and work experience it is subheading proof of funds home ties sub 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 thing then you start to write make it concise it's not going to make address don't go and make address you can just write letter of explanation it is letter within the application they have your email address they have your house address they have your institutional address so why are you going to also bring your home address waste of page cancel cancel all those uh, 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 I PO boss 93 it's not important in the letter of explanation go straight to the point they have it in the application that, that go straight to the point letter of explanation underline dear this officer start introduction education and what and you make conclusion nice conclusion people don't know how to conclude it right right a letter tense and sometimes too you can also provide tables table especially when you reach the proof of funds you can provide let the visa officer know that you know what you're doing so a table like this so maybe So table like this right so maybe here is tuition you can write here tuition you can he write here um this is your tuition fee you can hear the living expenses maybe you pay your school fees first year school fees bring it first year school fees the amount let the visa officer know the things you have done in the visa application make it a tabular form a tabular form in total amount of money all the money that need that you need to complete your um, that you need to complete the, the your studies right that is write it down convert it into dollars some people use ghana cities please convert everything to canadian dollars nobody have time to convert ghana cities to dollars please do it make it in dollars even if you you do it in ghana cities convert it to dollars so ghana city into bracket approximately canadian dollars this and this and that 
right? So we make it a table like this and explain to the visa officer that this is your tuition for one year. This is your living expenses. So plus this, plus this is equal to this. You have done a down payment of this. This is your first term fees. You have also done something like, you know, you explain to, to him. Final verdict. This is the overall money that you will need for your studies. And this is the money in the bank account or the proof of funds. The person who is going to sponsor you. You and you add it. So total amount of money for my studies. Maybe a 3,000, 300,000 Ghana cities. Approximately maybe $30,000. Then you write it down. So the visa officer will know that, oh, this person has tabulated it it is understandable all the best i wish you all the best my name is peter Bawa. tell a tired soul that there is god don't forget that it is possible to change the narrative next year by this time things might change and this year something must happen in our life until we see the king we are not stopping until kings clap for us me i want kings president to clap for me if they don't clap for me, I'm not stopping. You too, until they clap for you, you are not stopping. God bless you. My name is Peter Ewa. I love you. Bye-bye.